Hello everyone. I'm Jenny. I'm glad to meet you here again. And I will continue the last video's topic, which talk about the insight that the experience of heartbroken brought me. I'm sorry. Sorry. I feel like both parties were in pain. Both parties were responsible for all this happening. When I look back, I discover how unfair I was to you. I put myself into the illusion, into the role. I insist on making a wish. But I ignored your feelings and didn't respect your choice. I thought I was sharing happiness, but I never realized that you had to endure it for a long, long time with a smile until you finally couldn't bear it. Human instinct is to avoid suffering. I have brought you constraint. Of course, you will choose to hide in your comfortable corner. I am guilty that I didn't realize it earlier. I am guilty that I want to become a conscious soul. I was fascinated by the illusion. Please forgive me. When I feel pain, I believe your pain was not lighter than mine. In this world, we always judge the pain and the return wrongly. When I give love, I was also experiencing happiness, and this experience has already been my reward. When the soul is immersed in the experience, we will see a beautiful world. When the soul is attached to one point. Everything will become heavy. Yes, people will look forward to the future, but when they lose their balance, expectation will become obsession, and obsession will cause resentment. We cannot regret for the past, and we cannot insist the future. There is only this present moment in our hand. If you enjoy this moment, you will feel light and happy. So please forgive me for falling into the trap of dreams. Thank you. Thank you for lighting a lantern for me in the darkness hour. Thank you for teaching me a lot of knowledge unconditionally, and making me aware of many simple but important truths. Thank you. Once I thought only I had to save a lot of money and do a lot of preparation before I can have the courage to pursue my own dream. Your existence tells me. Go for it, and to be myself. Help me walk on my dream path much earlier than before. I love you. You see, so much so-called pain can bury the desire for love in my heart, and the candlelight that I firmly believe in my heart. Because of the existence of love, 
who said that falling in love can be painful. The beginning and end of love are both beautiful and warm. It's just that we are sometimes trapped into the pain of the past, trapped into the fear of losing, and fear of never gaining it again. Love is not a straight line. But an eternal circle. When we realize our responsibilities and faults, when we sincerely ask for forgiveness, when we express our sincere thanks, at this time we are back to the starting point, which is unconditional love. I love myself. I wish I could go through the darkness. And always maintain a pure light. I love you from beginning to end, like petals blown by the spring breeze. The circle of the four seasons never fails. Please fly. In this world, the animals I would never raise a bird. Whenever I see a bird locked into a small cage, I will feel endless sadness in my heart. Every piece of their feather belongs to the blue sky. But people destroy this beautiful freedom just because they want to occupy it. I know you belong to the sky, and you belong to the sea. We can't fly together and swim together. I hope you can walk on the journey of life freely. I also wish that so many beautiful souls you will meet during your journey. Please fly. Maybe one day I pick up a feather or see a fish in the river spitting bubbles. It is you who greeted me. What can I leave you? Please give you my lightest and warmest love. Let this love become a breeze holding the wings of a bird. Let this love become water flows pushing the little fish to swim forward. This letter may be addressed to a certain person. It may be addressed to myself, or it may be addressed to many of you who are watching this video. We often say that we should heal the pain of broken heart with various external methods, venting out like crazy, or immediately find a new love. In fact. The real cure has always been in our heart. Of course, I think it's not easy to observe and heal my heart calmly. My friend was surprised at how quickly I recovered, but only I know how painful I've been. I thought I'd wave goodbye to the pain, but it would come back without. Warning. After all, we are all human beings with flesh, blood, and emotion. All I could do was stay with these emotions, observing and experiencing them. When grievance came to my mind, then wringing my arms around me and imagining. Invisible self was hugging my physical body. Invisible hands were gently healing my wounds and spoke to my heart. I love you. I know you. Everything will be alright. At that moment, I was my own guardian angel. Feel the tear 
feel the heartbeat, feel every breath, every emotion, positive or negative, is our friend. Not immersed in pain, but feeling the pain. We face the pain, but also like facing an old friend. Take time to accompany and feel its existence. Thinking back to the original love, thanking and blessing everyone who appeared in our life. There are our mirrors. Only through them we can finally find our own light. When we shine, the mirror also reflects the light. Surrounded by light, it will be no more darkness and pain. Here are a couple songs I want to share. I will put the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. Let's see you in the next video. Bye bye.